cleaning, and sterilization. To prevent the spread of communicable diseases and to make sure the CCV remains clean and fully functional, it is critical to follow the cleaning and sterilization processes recommended by your IPC protocol, ministry, or professional body in your country. This video will review the recommended protocols and precautions to reduce the spread of infection, optimize patient safety, and prolong the functional lifespan of the Gradient CCV. Keep in mind that the responsibilities outlined in this session may fall on a wide range of care providers, from critical care nurses to physicians and EMTs to cleaning staff. It is critical to make each person aware of the tasks that they are responsible for. To clean the CCV, make sure you have adequate space allowing you to easily access all parts of the machine and workstation. Remove all unnecessary equipment and connections. Then, use a damp rug containing a mild cleaning solution to remove any residue from the surface of the CCV and humidifier. Avoid any oil or petroleum-based products. Instead, opt for isopropyl alcohol or a cold disinfecting solution to kill bacteria like cetalcide or bleach. Reference the CCV user guide for details on approved cleaning solutions and concentrations. Once the CCV and humidifier have been disinfected, use a clean, wet rug to remove any film left behind by the cold disinfecting solution. The CCV should be fully dry before putting into storage or using on a new patient. The same procedure can be used to clean the workstation stand, basket, and casters. Be sure to wipe down the CCV after each use. The CCV contains a particle filter located inside the room air inlet on the side of the unit. This filter removes dust and other particles from the ambient air drawn in by the compressor. The CCV comes with three spare filters, and additional filters are provided during annual preventive maintenance visits. These filters should be checked before each use and washed or replaced if visibly dirty or every three months for CCVs in regular use. To replace the filter, carefully remove the protective screen by prying it off with fingernails or a dull flat tool. Discard the filter, insert a fresh one, and replace the protective screen. The CCV comes with reusable silicone breathing circuits, which are robust and durable. Care should be taken, however, to prevent damage and prolong the usable lifespan of the circuits. Do not pull or drag the workstation by the breathing circuit. Do not allow the circuit to touch the floor, which could result in contamination or physical damage. Extra attention should be paid to sterilizing the patient breathing circuits, which can become contaminated during use on a patient. To prevent cross-contamination, do not reuse patient breathing circuits without proper disinfection and never reuse circuits intended for single patient use. To clean the breathing circuits, there are three recommended options. The first method is to use autoclave sterilization. Wash the circuit with soap and water, then autoclave either for 15 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius and 1 bar or 15 PSI, or for 5 minutes at 134 degrees Celsius and 1.4 bar or 20 PSI. The second method is using hot water. Clean the breathing circuit with cold water first, and then immerse the circuit in water that is at least 70 degrees Celsius for at least 30 minutes. Afterwards, hang the circuit to dry in a clean area. The third method is chemical disinfection using a chemical agent such as the dilute parasitic acid-based solution. The circuit should be washed thoroughly in distilled or fresh water after disinfection. When using the active humidifier, it is also important to take the necessary precautions to prevent infection. Be sure to clean the humidifier and its accessories before each use. Regularly sterilize the water chamber and water trap. To prevent overflow and reduce the risk of infection, the water trap should be emptied frequently and the condensate should be properly disposed of. Always use distilled water in the water chamber. Before connecting the patient to a CCV, it's important to double check all aspects of the machine and accessories 
to ensure you're well connected and not introducing infection risk. We'll end this video by summarizing the cleaning and sterilization procedures that should be undertaken before and after each use of the CCV on a patient. Before connecting to a patient, confirm that the CCV is free of dust and dirt and that the interface has been wiped down. Use a sterilized, properly assembled breathing circuit with a fresh bacterial filter or HME filter for each patient. Check that the humidifier is cleaned and ready for use. The water trap should be empty and the water chamber should be filled with distilled water. Following use on each patient, you will want to prepare the CCV for storage or for use on another patient. Be sure to turn the machine off and properly dispose of the bacterial filter or HME filter. Send the patient breathing circuit for sterilization. Then, wipe down the unit with a damp rag with cleaning solution and use cold disinfecting solution to kill bacteria. Remove excess film left behind by the disinfecting solution using water and a cloth. Ensure the CCV is fully dry before storing. If initiating ventilation on a new patient, always perform the full CCV pre-use checklist before connecting to a patient.